Welcome to another edition of Two Old Farts, where we tell it like it is. This time, Jerry Seinfeld's Netflix Unfrosted. I'm Mike Waco. This is Tom Rosenfield, and we are going to break it down for you. Today. Zero. We are going to launch. Minus three, two, one. Lift off. Lift off. I believe we have split the atom of breakfast. Listen, high expectations for Jerry Seinfeld. He's got to be funny. He's got to be quick. He's got to be witted. And then you throw in a 1950s little uh, recount of tel Kellogg's and Post, and you got a movie. In the early 1960s, the American morning was defined by milk and cereal. And the two undisputed giants of the cereal world were Kellogg's and Post. I love what Jerry Seinfeld's done for comedy. I love his comedy about nothing. I love his little moments of reality about the real world. I love that he's a serial guy. I love all that stuff. This movie was nonsense. It was nonsense. We're talking about happy childhoods for millions of American kids. It was like a big balloon filled up with just helium and good stuff. And the beginning of it, the first like quarter of it, beautifully done, beautifully shot you know, going back and forth, humor, all this other stuff. And then it just started to deflate. It just started to, cut, the balloon kind of shrunk. You have to win. Are you making any progress? It's not to scale, but. What are you guys, five years old? Little John John draws better than that. And I think there's something wrong with them. This movie had a lot of good things that I love. I, I love art direction. I love comedy. I love, bi you know, historical biography. What, what is that right there? What What's on your finger? What is, that's not a wedding ring. What is that? <laughs> this is my aura ring. It's it's uh, measuring my heartbeat, which is going up right now. I want you to Wait, know that. Wait, uh, it's called an aura ring? How much did that cost you? O U R A. What do you buy it in a in a, a pharmacy? What no, do you I actually what? got it? I got it from my doctor. My doctor gave it to me. So you, it's covered with a medical like it your is. medical insurance? Shockingly, it is. And but what it, what does it do? And you have to put it on your left hand, and you have to take it off. So so my, my, my wife, my wife is very angry because I've taken my wedding ring off and she says that I'm married to Aura now. I love that. I don't understand. So what do you have a like a pulse thing right here? Yeah. What, so what, it's measuring, what is here? It, it measures like my sleep and my heart rate and my oxygen levels and all that stuff. All my biological stuff. There's the app. You okay. You, but you're that. also saying that this medical issue could affect a review. No, I think it's the other way around. I no, think this yeah, review yeah. can affect my medical issue. No. Major news from the breakfast world. The Post Cereal Company has reportedly invented a shelf-stable fruit pastry breakfast product. No. Yeah. Boy. A couple of little pieces, a couple of little jokes now and again, and all this extra fluff around some bogus biography that I don't know why he needed all that. It And, and you can tell. You can watch Jerry Seinfeld on, on film knowing that it's ridiculous and tr trying not to crack a smile in every scene. Like, he does not taking it seriously either. And it's like, he's just play acting is really what he's doing. How did it get this far? It's breakfast. Things happen. You know that the Jim Gaffigan character, not real, right? Made up person, right? You know that the Amy Schumer character, not real, right? Made up person. However, the guy, who, the Tony the Tiger character, Thurl Ravenscroft, real person. Real person who was the real Tony that wrote the, what, did you know that? Real Tony the Tiger, that, that was the real guy. Kellogg's is entering the race to reinvent breakfast with the help of Steve Schwinn, Jeff Boyardee, and Jack LaLanne. What is he trying to prove by mixing some bogus story with some real story? And Do you need it reality driven? Do you need it like a documentary? When the movie is a mixture of things, I don't know what they want me to feel. No. That's the problem. When, when, oh you, when you, you want, if they want you to feel you funny. Me, ah, part of it's fair point. I will go see Jerry Seinfeld stand up to feel funny and to and to experience humor. The important thing is the name. Fruit Magoos. What? No. Heat them up and eat them ups. No sale. Oblong nibblers. Is this a joke? Did you not go nostalgic when you were looking at that? I ate that cereal. I ate that one. Fruit Agreed. Loops, loved it. Yes. Oh my God. Agreed. Pop Tarts, when did that come about? I didn't know. I think you have a deep seated psychological problem 
with breakfast, Tom? I was never uh, a Pop Tart guy. No, you're right. I never ate Pop Tarts. I mean, we had them were around. You, now, were now you again. even a breakfast person? Did you have cereal in the morning? We did. We did. A lot of cereal. A lot of cereal for sure. And, and this and, didn't bring back memories. Tr you're trying to tell the you're trying to tell people that I'm giving this movie a bad review because I was traumatized by cereal when I was a kid. I don't want to go back to this, but what what's this blemish on your face too? Right here. This blemish here. Yeah. What are, what are those? Are, are we talking about our... our are they problems? age spots? I are you aging? Too. This is good. Or is that makeup that you put in there for two old parts <laughs> like to make sure that you... I, I, I should use makeup. Yeah, I hate it. Look, I hate aging and I hate that my face has got splotches on it now. But what are you going to do, right? You're old, right? That just happens. Hey, you know Isaiah Lamb from Quaker? You Kellogg's people. All right, let's wrap this up, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I, you know, Netflix unfrosted. Jerry Seinfeld should have been much better. We have high expectations for him. I would kind of, on a tilt down, be just okay with it. I'm going to say high expectations, a lot of good pieces. The pieces don't add up to a full puzzle. It's like a messy puzzle on the table that you can't figure out how to put together. So I'm kind of going a little bit down. Interesting. Interesting. Thanks again for another edition of Two Old Farts. We'll see you next time. If you can, please follow, subscribe, and like the Showbiz Syndicate. And check out other reviews and stories. We are humbled and honored you chose us.